Hello everybody and welcome to Romance Most Tarot. I'm about to begin here with a reading and it is a general reading so it might not resonate with everybody. So please do take whatever resonates with you, whatever you're feeling comfortable with and the rest of it just toss it aside. It's a general reading so it does happen. If you know it just doesn't connect with you, you're not feeling it, it it's okay. Just put it aside. If however you would like to have yourself a personal reading, it could be relationship, it could be career, it could be general with your life or guidance, please do contact me at romancefultarot at gmail.com. Also, if you do enjoy the channel and you have not yet subscribed, please do take a brief moment of your time to click the subscribe button to show your support to the channel and to myself, and it would be greatly appreciated. Okay, so let's flip these cards over and give you your messages from the universe on your soul's journey. So we have some indec indecision, we have some trust, I have some adversity, and I also have some perseverance. So let's begin with the very first card, which is indecision. I use my intuition in all aspects of life. Your soul is spirit and it manifests in this physical dimension. Even though you may feel limited by the constraints of your body, your connections to the infinite wisdom of the universe is always available to you in the form of intuition. You are never alone when making any decision. Spirit only wants the best for you. And by listening to your inner voice, you will always be guided to the proper outcome. All you have to do is ask. The expectation of others is only an illusion. You were not born to listen to fear. You were taught to listen to it. Visualize any decision in your life as a fork in the road. How does your body react when you imagine your travels down each path? Now at first glance, one may look easier to traverse, but the destination will cause anxiety and a heavy heart. Another path may be more difficult to walk, but the destination will feel light and calm. When you silence your mind and you listen to your intuition, the signposts will always be obvious. Okay? Always be obvious. So let's move on forward to your second message. Which is about perseverance. So, uh, not perseverance, I'm sorry. Trust. I accept that my inner voice will always guide me correctly. The earth can be a very tricky place, but you have been given a tool to help you navigate through the murky waters. What is it? Your intuition. You must learn to tell the difference between ego talk and soul talk. And then trust your soul. Once you get into the habit of following your intuition, you will come to practice that discernment externally. You will be able to know if a person or situation is trustworthy. But it all begins with listening to your inner voice. Here we are, eh? Inner voice. The universe just talked to you about your intuition. Exercise it like a muscle, and when you determine that it is always right, that wisdom will spread out and influence everything that you do. Decisions will seem easier. Your soul only wants what is best for you, and you must learn to trust it. Now we're going to follow up with the um, adversity here. Adversity. I accept that challenges are the best way to learn. No one ever said life was going to be easy. Obstacles are presented to you so that you may overcome them. Believe that you will because if you don't believe in yourself, no one else will. 
Confidence comes to those who have succeeded in conquering adversity. And then the next hurdle just won't seem as daunting. Adversity is an opportunity for you to reach out to your soul family. You are not alone in this time of challenge. If you need help, others are waiting to offer their assistance to you. This test may, may have come into your life to teach you to receive rather than to give. And we're going to finish it up with perseverance. I know that I can do whatever I set my mind to. As a soul, you are on a mission in this physical dimension. You are the only one who knows the correct path to take. Your intuition, your connection to spirit is your compass. You have the power to stay on course and you are stronger and more determined than you might first think. In order to experience many successes in life, you must mature and realize the strength within yourself and the quality of inner courage. Life doesn't just happen, we must make it happen. It is natural for us in this human school to shy away from what we believe to be difficult because we concern ourselves with how others will perceive us. We are afraid of failure. We are afraid of ridicule or even of coming up short. Now is the time to make the proper changes and take risks and do things you never thought you could before. Your soul must learn to become aware of its inner strength. Live the joyfulness of your soul that it yearns for and engage in activities that you have always wanted to try but you were afraid that you'd fail at it. Your soul would not yearn for something that you couldn't accomplish. You have the strength and you have the fortitude to be capable of greatness. So, my dear friends, Leo, your soul's journey by the universe, I use my intuition in all aspects of life. I accept that my inner voice will always guide me correctly. I accept that challenges are the best way to learn and I know that I can do whatever I set my mind to. And that being said, I do wish you a fantastic day. Thank you so very much for being there. If you would like to have a reading, you can contact me at romancefultarot at gmail.com. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel, stay tuned for following readings, and have yourself a wonderful and blessed day. I'll see you tomorrow.